Alright, hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here again with another Photoshop Elements 7 tutorial. 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7. I don't know why my mic does this, but it's really annoying. So, anyways, if you can ignore the lisp for about another 3 to 4 minutes, I am going to show you a quick tutorial on how to change hair color. Um, as you can see here, we have a girl. She's blonde. I suggest getting a blonde one just because um, it's a lot easier to dye the hair color when it's uh, more of a neutral color like a blonde. So basically what we're going to end up with is hair like this. Um, okay, I don't want comments, oh, you suck, oh, look at it, it's all uneven right here, and duh. Okay, I know that. I, this seriously, it took me like four minutes to do. So um, that's that. And then also, uh, go ahead and zoom in here. Um, I also was able to do lipstick and eyeliner. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not a makeup artist and I don't proclaim myself to be one, but um, basically it, it's the same concept for all of these things. So, here we go. Put your seatbelt on and your helmet and enjoy. Okay, uh, going to delete the background layer, um, delete these out of the way, <coughs> and then go ahead and show you how simple this is to do. I'm not going to do the whole hair right now because that would be incredibly long and boring um, and I know you don't want to see that. So go over here to your layers tablet and create a new layer. Um, now that you've done that go over to your brush tool and select um, a rough color that you would want the hair to be. So say I already used kind of a darker red, so let's say you want it to be purple. We'll just do that. Okay, so we got purple here. And uh, change this layer to a soft light. I found that soft light works best when doing this. Um, so, of course, if you want it more harsh, uh, you can go to overlay or, or something like that. But you can change that once you're all done with this. So basically, I'm on a feather brush now, and you just kind of, you know, click and draw pretty much over the hair. And um, with a feathered brush, it's a lot easier than if it was just a hard edge brush because it's uh, it's a little, you know, less harsh along the edges. Uh, so yeah, that's the whole point of feathering. <coughs> so as you can see, um, you know, it looks really, really good. If you take your time, I'm sure somebody could spend, you know, an hour doing this, but not me. No, sir. No, thank you. Um, so, yeah. And then, like I said, if you want it darker, you can go to Overlay, and that's really dark. And then you can even change up the opacity on it. So, you know, yeah. All right. Uh, and then th the same thing basically applies for doing makeup on the lips or whatever. Um, I basically just opened a new layer. Can I go change the color because nobody has purple lips. Come on guys. And uh, make it a darker darker red. There we go. Change that once again to soft light. And... Ah, uh, where am I? Click on the brush. Do a soft edge feathered brush. <sighs> Hold on guys. She called me! <sighs> yeah, well, she didn't. Anyway. Sorry guys, that was the pops bugging me. So anyways, yeah, um, basically you can see that, um, you know, that's how you would do lipstick. So anyways, hope this helped out. Once again, I'm Chris. Thanks for watching. Shabow!